YouTube and welcome to the fourth episode of my Beginner's Guide to Xcode series. So in this episode we'll be covering four different things. I'll be showing you the user interface of Xcode, the app summary, the difference between a .m file and .h file and how to use storyboards. So to get started we'll need to start up Xcode. and create a new project and then we're going to be using a single view application as it's what most beginner developers will be using when they um, make apps so I'll just be calling this example and we're going to be making it for the devices of Universal well actually I think we'll just be making it for iPhone now we're going to the iPad at the moment and here we have the organization name so my YouTube username and the company identifier which is the same my YouTube username and a class prefix so we we'll just call this example so if we click next and we're going to save it to our desktop so create the app. So now that we've created our app, we're brought by this quite daunting screen. So don't be afraid. There's once you get to you get used to it, it's actually not as scary as it may look at first because there's a lot of things going on here. But this main panel here, at the moment, we're on our app summary. So here we have our bundle identifier and our version of the app which at the moment is 1.0 and the build 1.0 so if we just scroll down we have deployment info so deployment target is the iOS that we're deploying for and it's going to be iOS 7 devices we're going to be deploying to the iPhone main interface main and here you can see we have the device orientation so what we want to use the what orientation we want to use it for is portrait and we don't want it to be used for landscape left or right so just uncheck them status bar style is default you can have it as a black translucent sort of color or black opaque but I think we'll just keep it as default for now and we get the option to hide it during application launch which when a loading screen which you get to choose you get to build yourself appears we can hide it or we can have it showing and then the app icons and all that I'll get to that later and frameworks so that's just the general and capabilities just says iCloud enabled passbook game center in-app purchases you can enable them but we're not going to do that at the moment more info, just sort of a summary of all the information of it. Build settings, we're not going to really mess around with these at the moment. Build phases, still really don't need to go into that at the moment, and nor do we with build rules. So this is your app summary, and as you can see here on this left panel, this is uh, it just shows all our groups, which are folders. And when we click here, we are brought to our app summary. So this is our main app folder. It contains all of these. And in it, we have the app delegate and dot the header file and the implementation, but we won't go into that at the moment. But what we do have is the main storyboard. So if you're going to be using storyboards to build your app, this is where you're going to be most of the time. So as you can see, we have one view controller and we discussed that in episode two, where we looked at the different terminology. So a view controller is a screen, a different page almost for your iOS app. So we can, we can drag and drop buttons, switches, and link them up and make them do other things. So here we have underneath the main storyboard, our viewcontroller.h. So, view controller header file. 
So the header file is where all of the instant variables are created and we do less work in the header file than we do in the M file which is the implementation file and the implementation file is like a set of directions for your computer to process when using the app so as you can see already before we've done anything there's a lot more in there than there was in the header file so there's a lot more groups here and image X C assets I'll go into all of that in a later date so for the moment we'll just go back and look at the storyboard again so on this right panel you can see we have sort of just the this is a, a menu sort of overview of the view controller or whatever attribute or object we've clicked on and lower down here we can just make this bigger is where we have all of these different objects but if we go to where this 3d square is these these are the objects that we'll be dragging and dropping into the view controller so as you can see there's another view controller so say for example we want this to be our main view so when you start up the app it goes straight here this is our home page and we want a button on it that connects to the next view controller so what you do is you drag and drop this object out like this and drop it there so now we have another view controller so just click on this and it brings up all of this information and click on this one and it brings up all of this one's information so we can scroll down we've got table view controller collection view controller navigation controller tab bar controller all these different objects so these are mainly the different sort of things you'd see in most of Apple's applications that are built into your iOS device and they're really useful to make it look make your app look a bit more professional and there's a lot you can do with them you have a lot of um, control over what they look like for example a button we can actually instead of having just text and you click on it we can make it an image that we click on so you can design your own back button or whatever button you want so for the moment I'm going to drag this button in and drop it here but we can't do that because we're not zoomed in on this view controller so I'm going to double click on this view controller and it zooms in and we have more of a, a detailed view of the view controller but obviously there's nothing on there at the moment to see so I'm going to drag and drop the button and it gives me some sort of guidelines of where it is centered which are quite helpful so I want it in the middle and it's called button so you see up here it's got UI button all these different options and I'll go into them later on but if we just double click here we can rename what the button says so I can change it to say hello so now I just recenter this button what we could do if we want it to go to this view controller over here is we have to link it up so just so we can define the different view controllers I'm going to drag a label which is sort of like a text view drag and drop it over here double click and I'll call this second view controller just center that slightly and we're going to go back to the first view controller click on the button and click control on your keypad click on it and drag and it highlights this next view controller let go and you're given all these different options so what we're going to do is we're going to click on modal so now you see there's a link between the two view controllers so it means that this button is going to take us to this view controller but when we actually run the app and use it in the simulator we can't actually get back to the first view controller in, that we started with so we're going to do exactly what we did before drag and drop a button in and we're going to double click and call this button back and we're going to control click and drag back to this one 
and again we're going to click modal and you see it has if we just zoom out a link coming from this side all the way back round and back to this view controller so if I just center this text make it look a bit more neat if I start up the app in a simulator which is up here you can use the play button which builds your app tells you if there's any issues that can't that means it can't be used it won't start but just here you get the option if you click here all different simulators so we can use the iPhone Retina 4.5 3.5 inch even and this is the iPhone 4 or the iPhone 4s and we have the iPhone 5 or the iPhone 5s and the different iPads so let's just stick with the iPhone 3.5 inch and click play so this build and then runs the current scheme so click play and it will just build your app and an iOS simulator will appear it's quite nice because it gives you uh, the bezel of an iPhone 4 or 4S what it look like so it starts up your app Hang on one second so it starts up your app and this is our home view controller that we made so this one and if we click this button hello it takes us to the second view controller which was this one and if we click back it takes us back to the first one so it's a really basic app and we will be building onto the apps in later videos so that's the storyboard covered for now so if I just close down the simulator just look at a bit more about the user interface so if we go back to the app summary you've still got these panels down here and maybe you want to have a bigger view of the app summary so to get rid of it you've got these buttons there's six buttons up here that you can use so these three buttons here show the different panels that you can have up so say we don't want this right panel we're going to click here so it's no longer highlighted and it just slides to the right and disappears and if we want it back click on the button again pretty simple so we can get rid of the one on the left and the one on the right and we have a lot more space to work with we also have this one pop up from the bottom we don't always need them and then there's three more here that we use and they have the assistant editor so I won't go into them at the moment but that's it for now so please join us in episode 5 where we look at frameworks and how to implement them so thanks for watching and I hope this helped and see you guys later